Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our Copy Corner today. This is Spinner, the application engineer for SOX and Moses. The new version of Moses was released in May 2022. The main update of this new version is the enhancement of structural modeler and post processor. And this is the today's topic. Let me start. As you may know, many offshore engineers use SOX and MOSES together. This is mainly due to the user-friendly modeling interface and intuitive result visualization features of SOX. For example, for transportation analysis, structural models such as jacket or deck is modeled with SOX preset and converted into MOSES format. Then after the analysis, the results, uh, such as motion areas or sometimes motion statistics, are transferred into SAS format for structural analysis and post-processing. Because this type of interoperability is quite popular, we have this kind of m% convert command to convert the SAS model into MOSES format. And also we have added m% minus SAS command and minus SOX tool options so that results like motion areas or applied load cases computed in MOSES are automatically written in SOX format. What I mean is, a tool info file of SOX can be generated as part of a regular MOSES analysis. Our intention is to help users with the transfers of results to save time. However, Many users still want to perform structural analysis in MOSES. They tell us they want to use the structural server of MOSES because of some unique structural analysis features specialized for floating structures. This is because many times these unique features of structural server of MOSES are essential to satisfy project requirements and they cannot follow the project requirements through this uh, old way of interoperability. So we decided to incorporate the SOX applications into MOSES. So SOX Precip, Post Processor, FORTY, and Post View are incorporated as MOSES Precip, MOSES Post, FORTY, and Post View. These new applications were a technical preview in the previous version, and now they become part of official release with many enhancements. Let me introduce the workflow of this structural analysis with these new applications. First of all, we can model a structural element with MOSES Precede, and also we have the other GUI modeler named Moses Modeler. This Moses Modeler is for the modeling of the hydrodynamic panels, I mean, for hydrodynamic analysis. With these two applications, we can build all the systems we need for the analysis in Moses. After the modeling, we can run the analysis. As a brief summary, here are the three big categories of the analysis in MOSES. First one is the static analysis or series of static analysis. This analysis technique is normally used where the motions, I mean the inertials, can be neglected. One of the examples is the appending analysis, which takes long time to operate in the field. The other type of analysis is time domain simulation. This is usually catch the nonlinear response of the system for detailed analysis. And the other type of analysis is the frequency domain analysis. The characteristic of this analysis is somewhere between these two. I mean, dynamics of the system is considered, but they are linearized so that we can get the response very fast. These are the types of analysis versus approach and for structural analysis, 
we can generate applied road cases from any of these analyses. Then solve the structures for the internal forces and deflections. In this part, BOSES has many unique features that are specialized in floaters. I will explain the features later of this presentation. After the structural analysis, we need to save the result in the format of a common solution file. This BOSES common solution file is, is almost the same format of the common solution file of SAX. Then, we use the post processors with this common solution file. One thing to note here is, the structural analysis in the frequency domain is a bit special because the result of structural analysis are the areas of the internal forces in beams. I mean, the results from the structural solver are not something we can use for code checking because Final stresses for stability check are determined by combining spectrum with RAOs during the post-processing stage. And also probability theory is involved here as a general frequency domain analysis. Due to this theoretical characteristic, it needs a few more commands to implement in MOSES. Let me back to this topic in detail later with this presentation. This is the new structural analysis workflow with the new MOSES applications. In the next slide, let me show you a short video clip of MOSES FreeSeed. This is MOSES FreeSeed. This modeling tool has the same functionality with SAX FreeSeed, but we slightly modified it to fit it into MOSES format. For example, SAX accepts up to four characters for joint name, but in MOSES, up to seven characters can be defined. So we have the MOSES preset accept seven characters. And also we remove some tasks from the ribbon menu because they are just for SAX solvers, not MOSES. As you see in the screen, the modeling methodology is the same. Add a joint then connect them with members. Other convenient features such as duplicate and translation and rotation are also available in the preceed. The section properties can be defined by directly inputting the dimensions to the window. Or built-in section libraries from code such as AISC are also available in the MOSES preset. So we can just simply select the section properties. A joint member offset or automatic offset is also available as you see in the screen. We can mesh the connections using the joint measure tool in SAX. The joint measure one of SAX utilities is also incorporated in this MOSES preset. So here you can specify some parameters such as message densities and the length of the mesh member. And here I just follow the default parameters, hit the save button. Then it gives us a FE model with mesh connection. Loads and weights can be defined in the MOSES preset and in the solver they become weight, so they attract inertial forces during the simulation. As you see in the previous slide, most of structural elements are modeled in the MOSES preset. But special elements that are not supported in SAX and also require special analysis in MOSES should be defined in the MOSES executive. For example, many times, Support cans and tie downs are modeled as compression or tension only elements. For structural analysis with this kind of gap element, we need nonlinear iterative solution to redistribute the loads if they take forces that are not intended. Same for the launch way because this is friction only element and also needs some special boundary conditions that polarize at each time step. With the same reason, 
boring lines and lifting ceilings and user defined springs or dampers should be defined in the MOSES executive. Last of all, for your reference, in MOSES preset, we can define load and weight, and they are all converted into weight in MOSES. The direction of loads will disappear. This is all I want to talk about MOSES preset for now, and let me move on to the structural analysis part. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.